Carolyn from Beulah Presbyterian Church. And today I'm going to bring a knowing place story to you. And I'm going to ask you to do some things to respond to the story afterward. Today's story is the story of creation. Now this week we celebrated the 50th anniversary or birthday of Earth Day. And it's a time when we can remember to take care of all the wonderful resources and, and the, all the creation that God has given us. So it's always good to start at the beginning and to make sure that we remember where all those good things have come from. So today, as we listen to the story of creation, I want you to think about all the things that God has given us out in his beautiful world. Let's hear the story. I wonder if you can think of the biggest gift you have been given. I bet you can think of a lot of things that are very big gifts, especially maybe from people who love you very, very much. Well, today we are going to learn about a big gift. It's such a big gift that sometimes gifts are so big that we have a hard time seeing the whole gift. They're everywhere, but they are big and we forget that we have them. I don't know how to see them unless we go back to the beginning or maybe just before the beginning. So let's see if we can do that. This is a long piece of fabric. So I wonder if our story is a long story. In the beginning, there was nothing. Except God. And maybe God's great big smile. On the first day, God gave us the gift of light. There's darkness and there's light. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean light like the light that's in my room here or the lights that we turn on and off. And I don't mean the light from the sun or the moon or the stars yet. I mean light, all light. What is light and what is in light that makes light light? When God saw the light, hmm. God said, it is good. On the second day, God gave us the gift of water. And I don't mean the water that is in a glass of water or water that's in your bathtub or the water that comes down from the sky. I mean water, all water, water that is water. What is in water that makes water water? When God saw the water, God said, it is good. The waters above and the waters below.
On the third day, God gave us the gift of dry land and all the growing things. And I mean all the land and all the green growing things. And when God saw all the dry land and all the green growing things, God said, they are good. Now on the fourth day, God gave us the gifts of the great lights. The great light that rules the day and the great lights that rule the night. And when God saw these great lights, God said, they are good. On the fifth day, God gave us the gift of the fish of the sea and the birds of the air. And when God saw the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, God said, they are good. And on the sixth day, God gave us the gift of the creatures that walk on the earth, all the animals and the people too, all kinds of animals. And I can see a horse and a cow and an elephant and a cat and a squirrel and people too. And when God saw all these creatures that walk on the land, God said, they are good. And God saw all that he made. And God said, it is very good. Now, on the seventh day, God gave us another gift. God gave us the gift of rest and a day to remember all of God's beautiful creation. On that day, we can find a special place to remember all the gifts that God gave us on all the other days of creation. I wonder if you have a special place that you go each week or each day to remember this big gift that God has given us. Now, you might be able to do something fun at home. If you get eight pieces of paper, and they don't have to be big, they can be small, or they can be larger, but each piece of paper, you can make your own creation storybook. The first page, you can draw a cover. And you can say the creation story by your name. So I would put Miss Carolyn here. And you could read the story of creation in the Bible from the book of Genesis. It's the very beginning of the Bible. And the creation story is found in chapter one. Then you could take another page and draw your first day of creation like you would draw what you think it might look like that God gave us light from the darkness. And this next page, you can draw the waters of the above and the waters below that God created. 
and then the waters and the dry land and green growing things. And then the next page would be the great lights of the sky. And then the next page would be the fish and all the swimming things and the birds of the air. And your next page would be all of the creatures that walk and crawl on the earth, including people. And the last one would be, what would you do on a day to rest and remember God's beautiful creation? Maybe you could draw a picture of that. Hmm. Now, Miss Carolyn's going to tell you something really special. See, God has a very big plan. And God's plan started with that first day. And Miss Carolyn's going to rearrange my cards so that I can show you God's very, very fun plan. So, Miss Carolyn's going to move these two up. And look, on day one, God created light. The darkness became light. And on the fourth day, God put, let's move these around. God put great lights in the darkness and a great light in the day. How about that? I remember day two, we had the waters above and the waters below. And on day five, God filled those waters. He put birds above and fish and swimming things below. And on day three, God separated the land and moved the land into one place so that green growing things could grow on it. And the waters above and the waters below would be in a different place. And then on day six, God put creatures on the dry land. And those creatures could eat from the green growing things. How about that? And then God still wants us to remember that special day of rest. That one stands by itself because it is very special. Look how God planned creation. God has great plans, my friends. And even when it seems like things are not the way they normally are, we can always remember that God has good plans for us. The things that God does are very good. And we can count on God. God is so special that God gave us the gift of you and everyone else on our planet. And God loves us. So maybe today you might be able to draw that special gift too. You can draw you. Sometimes we can set a mirror up on our table and look at ourselves in the mirror and draw what we see. Because, my friends, you are a special gift. I miss you, and I hope to see you soon. Get out and enjoy God's beautiful creation today. Maybe you can see the sky, and maybe some waters, and the great lights of the sky. And maybe you can see some birds of the air and some other creatures that walk on the earth. And the green growing things are sprouting right now. Enjoy the day, my friends. Bye-bye.